The northernmost burial uh, was a person that was buried in a shroud, a wrapping cloth only, and his head was oriented to the east, which uh, traditionally would mean that this person was a cleric. Uh, and we know that Robert Hunt, well, the first cleric, dies when the church was standing. Uh, so therefore, uh, we could conclude from that or at least that's some of the evidence of why the Reverend Hunt is here. On this individual right here, some of the features that we see clearly identify him as a man. Uh, the robusticity of the b bones, the development of the muscle architecture, the muscle attachment areas in the back of the skull, all of those features identify him as a male that's about, about 39, 40, He's right in that age range. He has the greatest amount of tooth wear. He has a number of teeth that he's had problems with, tooth decay. He's the man that is buried in a shroud, tightly wrapped in a shroud, but not buried in a coffin. Uh, an Englishman, and a well-off Englishman, at least in terms of his diet, uh, no shortages there. We would think that he probably is the first Anglican minister, Reverend Hunt. The Reverend Robert Hunt was the first minister here at Jamestown and he served from May of 1607 when the settlers arrived on the island through to his death in the winter or spring of 1608, at which time the church had just been built. He came from the southeast of England having served in the parish of Reculver on the northern coast of Kent and then afterwards at Heathfield in the uh, Sussex Weald. And he was generally regarded by the early settlers as a man who was devout and reliable and there for them in times of adversity.